Howdy folks, I'm Michael Perch. I'm a professor at the University of Texas at Austin and I record and share all of my educational content including a lot of code, interactive demonstrations and so forth. And what I realized is I have about 50 Python data science interactive dashboards that I've made to support my students. And I thought, since there's a lot of questions about them, why not record a new series of walkthroughs for these workflows? So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about correlation coefficients. I know, I know it's very simple, but I think it's really good to kind of sit back. They're important. Let's, let's think about them. If you want to follow along with my interactive dashboard, go ahead and go to my GitHub account. I'm the Geostats guy. Go to the Python numerical demos. And then you can go down and the interactive workflows are all shown as interactive. And if you look right here, you're going to find correlation coefficient. So I've got it loaded up. I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and talk about it. I'll zoom in a bit here. If you want a little bit more background material, this is not supposed to be a proper lecture. But I do have links to lectures where I do cover correlation analysis, correlation coefficients. I even have lectures on principal components and univariate statistics. All of that is linked here. You'll be able to look that up. What are we talking about when we're talking about correlation? We're talking about what's known as bivariate analysis. We're trying to understand the relationships between two features. Let me give you an example. Porosity, permeability, nickel and copper grade. It doesn't matter. There's many cases in which we want to work with more than one feature and we need to understand the relationship between them. Now, what if we were to go ahead and take our features, porosity and permeability, for example, and just ignore the relationships and just model them? If we model them individually, that would be univariate modeling. And we'd have no relationships between the porosity and permeability beyond local conditioning from data. So they'd be independent away from the data. That would result in non-physical results. It would not be a good way to build a model. So we must quantify the relationships between our features and integrate them into our models for sure. Okay, Pearson product moment correlation coefficient is the full name. We will call it the correlation coefficient throughout this entire discussion. It just gets tiring saying it, but that's the proper name. Um, let's review how do we get to it. We'll start with the variance. The variance is a measure of dispersion for a single feature. So it's a univariate statistic. Let's take the variance, sigma squared x, where x is a feature and we have a set of samples. Now, if you're talking about locations in space, we'll use a u-bold location vector with an alpha index and we can loop over our data in space. For the purpose of this workflow and being concise, I'll go ahead and just use the x, i, i through 1 through n notation right there. We can calculate the sample variance as sample variance is equal to the sum of the values centered by their mean squared and divided by n minus 1. Now you'll note here that the sum divided by n would be like an average. We do n minus 1 because we're counting for degrees of freedom. When we do this calculation, the mean is a sample mean, not the population mean. It's unknown. Or we had to infer it, so we're counting for it with the n minus 1 right here. So really all we're doing is an average squared departure from the mean. That's what it is. Now we can expand this square component, xi minus x bar, twice and all we have to do is replace one of them with another feature, yi minus y bar. Now, if we do that, something really interesting happens here. And that is we realize we're actually calculating the way that x and y vary together. And you can prove that to yourself. If you have a very large x, much larger than the mean, and a very large y, much larger than the y, and they're paired together, two big values for each feature, the product will be a large positive value. And if you have a very small x value, it'll be negative, and a very small y value will be less than the mean, it'll be negative, and there'll be large negative values. The product of them will be a large positive number. They'll both contribute strongly to a covariance between them. So when you pair the large values 
and the small values between x and y, you promote a larger covariance. And you can imagine if you have just kind of random mixing, they'll start kind of canceling each other out with negative and positive components. Okay, if you go ahead and you take the covariance shown right here, and all you have to do is divide by or standardize by the product of the standard deviations of x and y feature, sigma x, sigma y, what happens is something really useful, and that is you get a measure that will vary between negative 1 and 1, and that is our correlation coefficient. So remember, the correlation coefficient can really be described as a standardized covariance such that it varies between negative 1 and 1. But besides that, they're really telling us the same thing. Okay, now what are some other comments I can make about the correlation coefficient? Well, other applications, if you're working with linear regression in machine learning, one predictor feature, one response feature, the square of the correlation coefficient between the predictor and the response feature, x and y, is actually equal to the r squared value, which is the variance explained by the linear regression model. So you, know, you don't have to build the model, you can tell how much variance will be explained by your linear regression model. When we do principal components analysis, PCA, we actually calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Eigenvalues are the variances explained. Eigenvectors are the principal component loadings. When we do that, we calculate it from the covariance matrix. And I already mentioned that the covariance and correlation coefficient are equivalent minus a standardization. So if you're working with PCA, you're working with correlation. Okay. What are some of the limitations? Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient, the measures, it measures the strength of the linear relationship between the two features. Any departure from linearity will potentially disrupt the measure. In fact, you can find that the correlation coefficient of y is equal to x squared, a parabola, if you take that over a symmetric interval around zero, is actually zero correlation because it's so nonlinear. Sensitivity to outliers? Yes, very sensitive to outliers, and I'll show that in my very next demo. Assumes finite covariance, finite variances, only when the features are bivariate normal. In other words, the univariate X and Y are both Gaussian, and the bivariate between them are also Gaussian. Does the correlation coefficient actually provide a complete, unique description of the relationship between the two features. And this includes homoscedasticity, constant variance. I'll show this to you for the Gaussian case. Why is that important? You can have many different configurations of data, can have the same correlation coefficients if you depart from Gaussianity. But if you're Gaussian, you know exactly what the relationship looks like with that one very efficient parameter. Very, very cool. Very compact correlation coefficient dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and show you a dashboard right now. We're going to make up some data. They're going to be bivariate and Gaussian. They have univariate and bivariate distributions are all Gaussian. They're standard normal, means of zeros, variances of one. We'll keep it kind of simple. Okay, to get started, get set up, make sure you have Anaconda, the most current version installed on your machine, and this should work. Let's go ahead and import some packages. All of these packages are standard anaconda it should just if you have an anaconda installed you should be fine declare a function just do some nice gridding i like the grid lines and we'll go ahead and make our dashboard i'm not going to walk through the code there's a bunch of code here because i made something kind of fun i made it pretty cool and let's zoom out so you can see the entire dashboard right here okay so we have 5,000 random samples from a bivariate Gaussian distribution. How do we know it's Gaussian? Well, univariate X1, X2, they definitely look Gaussian. I haven't tested, but they do look Gaussian. And if you look at the points of data, they do have kind of that bivariate Gaussian fill. Let's go ahead and add some correlation. What will happen if we start to add positive correlation to this relationship? It's pretty cool. Let's get a feel for what a correlation coefficient of 0.1 looks like. Okay, everybody sees zero. Zero just looks like, and it, like just points randomly everywhere, like a like a shotgun blast would be a way to describe that that data. Okay, 0.1. Do you see the difference? 
Did you see just a little bit ellipsoidal look? Hmm, it's hard to see, but that's a 0.1 correlation coefficient. So if you calculate a 0.1 correlation coefficient, this is what you have. Let's go ahead, 0.2. Do you see it now? It's subtle. 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.100, 0.101, 0.102, 0.103, 0.104, 0.105, 0.106, 0.107, 0.108, 0.109, 0.110, 0.111, 0.112, 0.113, 0.114, 0.115, 0.116, 0.117, 0.118, 0.119, 0.120, 0.121, 0.122, 0.123, 0.124, 0.125, 0.126, 0.127, 0.128, 0.129, 0.130, 0.131, 0.132, 0.133, 0.134, 0.135, 0.136, 0.137, 0.138, 0.139, 0.140, 0.141, 0.142, 0.143, 0.144, 0.145, 0.146, 0.147, 0.148, 0.149, 0.150, 0.151, 0.152, 0.153, 0.154, 0.155, 0.156, 0.157, 0.158, 0.159, 0.160, 0.171, 0.172, 0.173, 0.174, 0.175, 0.176, 0.177, 0.178, 0.179, 0.180, 0.191, 0.192, 0.193, 0.194, 0.195, 0.196, 0.197, 0.198, 0.199, 0.200, 0.201, 0.202, 0.203, 0.204, 0.205, 0.206, 0.207, 0.208, 0.209, 0.210, 0.211, 0.212, 0.213, 0.214, 0.215, 0.216, 0.217, 0.218, 0.219, 0.220, 0.221, 0.222, 0.223, 0.224, 0.225, 0.226, 0.227, 0.228, 0.229, 0.230, 0.231, 0.232, 0.233, 0.234, 0.235, 0.236, 0.237, 0.238, 0.239, 0.240, 0.241, 0.242, 0.243, 0.244, 0.245, 0.246, 0.247, 0.248, 0.249, 0.250, 0.251, 0.252, 0.253, 0.254, 0.255, 0.256, 0.257, 0.258, 0.259, 0.260, 0.271, 0.272, 0.273, 0.274, 0.275, 0.276, 0.277, 0.278, 0.279, 0.280, 0.291, 0.292, 0.293, 0.294, 0.295, 0.296, 0.297, 0.298, 0.299, 0.300, 0.301, 0.302, 0.303, 0.304, 0.305, 0.306, 0.307, 0.308, 0.309, 0.310, 0.311, 0.312, 0.313, 0.314, 0.315, 0.316, 0.317, 0.318, 0.319, 0.320, 0.321, 0.322, 0.323, 0.324, 0.325, 0.326, 0.327, 0.328, 0.329, 0.330, 0.331, 0.332, 0.333, 0.334, 0.335, 0.336, 0.337, 0.338, 0.339, 0.440, 0.441, 0.442, 0.443, 0.444, 0.445, 0.446, 0.447, 0.448, 0.449, 0.450, 0.451, 0.452, 0.453, 0.454, 0.455, 0.456, 0.457, 0.458, 0.459, 0.460, 0.471, 0.472, 0.473, 0.474, 0.475, 0.476, 0.478, 0.479, 0.480, 0.491, 0.492, 0.493, 0.494, 0.495, 0.496, 0.497, 0.498, 0.499, 0.500, 0.501, 0.502, 0.503, 0.504, 0.505, 0.506, 0.507, 0.508, 0.509, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.508, 0.509, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.508, 0.509, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.508, 0.509, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 
in the case of two features under the assumption of bivariate Gaussianity. Okay, I, I am Michael Perch. I'm a professor at the University of Texas at Austin where I conduct research and teach data science, data analytics, geostatistics, and machine learning, but I do share all of my educational content. Please check out my YouTube channel if you're not already there right now and my GitHub accounts. I have hundreds and hundreds of workflows, a Python package, and so forth. I hope this is helpful. Take care.